and welcome to bestappsite.com, your source for iPhone, iPod Touch, and now iPad app news and reviews. My name is Terry White, and I thought I'd take just a few minutes to walk you through my top 10 favorite picks for the iPad. Now, this is iPad Weekend. This is the first set of apps to ship. By no means will these always be my favorites or the favorites if you're watching this video six months from now because, as we know, the iPad gets new or the App Store gets new apps practically every day. Hundreds of apps, maybe thousands of apps. So this is kind of a first look at the first apps and the ones that I would say go get right away if this is your first iPad on opening weekend. Let's start with the ABC player. And we'll just go ahead and we'll flip that around for a moment here. And what this allows me to do is choose the content on ABC's network. So I can, for example, start a video. Let's go ahead and take a look at Flash Forward here. And what this will do is it's starting to stream this particular video directly from the website. So I'm getting streaming video of ABC episodes directly on my iPad. So, iPad compatible, works great. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the next app. We'll just go ahead and flip over, and it's actually a brand new app that I wasn't even expecting myself, and it's called Adobe Ideas. Now the concept here is, as you've heard in the past, some of the best ideas happen on a bar napkin. So what Adobe Ideas gives you is the ability to go ahead and sketch out that great idea. So, I want to create something over there, and hey, I want to put a house there, and as you can see, I'm not an artist, I'm not a sketcher. But just to be able to do this, you can pick colors, you can change your breast size, you can erase. So you get all this kind of turning this into a sketch pad, and it's a free app. Both the ABC app and the Adobe Ideas app are free apps to go download today. So once you have this, you can, of course, email it to someone, and they'll email it. It can actually be opened up as a PDF, or it can be opened up in Illustrator and continue to be worked on in a vector environment. So awesome technology for free, and of course, you get to keep track of all your sketches. So there's one I was playing with in different colors, just when I first got it. And here's a more elaborate version of my house. I mean, it, it's... It's so cool. I mean, I, I, I am an artist. I am now the sketcher. Just kidding. All right, so next, let's head over to uh, one of the apps that I reviewed on the iPhone, and actually it's made its debut here on the iPad, and it is Bento. Bento is a database app. Here, we'll let it open up that way. And this da it's a personal database app, but it's got some very cool uh, templates to get you started with. So if you wanted to do, for example, a uh, expense uh, template, you go ahead and choose that. You can choose the kind you want. So you can have um, uh, keep track of all your expenses. You can customize this, add your own fields. So basically, you can add pictures. And if you do work with Bento on your Mac, it will sync up with your Bento files on your Mac as well, and you can go back and forth. However, you don't need Bento on the Mac to use this. This is a standalone application. It goes for $4.99 on the App Store, and it's my number three choice for must-have. All right, so let's get out of Bento. Let's head over to another one of my favorite apps. It's called Delivery Status. Now, of course, being a tech guy, I'm always getting packages, so I um, love delivery status, and this iPad version is freaking phenomenal because it not only, of course, gives me the status of my upcoming iPad accessories and where they are, but it actually shows me where they are right now. So as I click on each thing, it will actually take me to where it is currently on the map. And again, delivery status, I believe, is a free application. It gives me the tracking number and all the info I need for any particular thing that I'm ordering. So very cool to be able to do this uh, directly on the iPad itself. All right, so next, let's head over to, this is actually one of Apple's apps, and it is, it is the iBooks app. This app will allow you to, of course, um, take advantage of the books you buy from the um, bookstore, the iBook store. But also important is that you can put your own EPUB documents 
in the iBooks app. All you do is uh, export them from a program like Adobe InDesign in the EPUB format, drop them in iTunes, and they will show up here. Apple gives you one app to start off with, they, or one book to start off with. They give you the Winnie the Pooh book, and you can flip the pages. You can highlight stuff, you can copy stuff, you can bookmark it, you can search, you can look it up in the dictionary. Um, you know, this is this is as about as good of as book book experience as I expected actually on the iPad. So I can type in a search, search for keywords. Um, great. And if we go to the library here, we can also pop over to the store. And of course, that just flips the bookcase around to the secret back side of the bookcase. And this is where you do your searching on the bookstore for books you might want to buy and see their cost. You can also search by the various categories. So great book app. For the, uh, for the iPad, and of course the iBooks app is free. Another free surprise, actually let's go back one, another free surprise that I got was the IMDB database. Now this is, of course is the, the infamous movie database that lets you um, look up pretty much anything that ever happened with a TV movie star, actress, actor, um, title of a movie, look up all the details, so whenever you're arguing with someone about what happened in a movie or who was in it, you can actually look that information up right there on the spot and prove your case. Alright, so let's go ahead and just take a look at U.S. Showtimes. It will find my current location, show me the theaters that are near me, show me what's playing, and allow me to see, um, of course, see what's uh, happening at that particular theater, the cast, so forth and so on. So, very cool app. And again, this is another freebie for the iPad. All right, let's head over to one of Apple's apps. Now, of course, I do have uh, Keynote pages and numbers. And I'm not a pages guy. I'm not a numbers guy. But I'm definitely a Keynote guy. So I'm looking forward to using Keynote to create presentations on my iPad or on my Mac and then deliver them from the iPad once I get the uh, VGA adapter that is on order and shipping soon. All right, so Keynote, you'll definitely want to check out. It is a $10 app, I believe, on the App Store. And, um, of course, the other apps are great, too, Numbers and uh, Pages, if you're into those kinds of uh, document creation apps. All right, so the next thing we're going to take a look at is probably the one that I was most excited to see just because it looks so cool. So we'll go Portrait here. We'll hit USA Today, another free app. And what the USA Today app does, of course, is brings you USA Today with your current local weather or the weather you chose. You get to just experience the USA Today in a very compelling um, format that allows you to, uh, here, let's go ahead and look at what happened on Iraq here. Allows you to read your stories, share your stories, zoom in, zoom out, scroll. Basically, you're getting the USA Today in a very cool format on your iPad. And again, that app is free. All right, last but not least, we'll take a look at a surprise app, and I have to thank my buddy Bruce for this one. Um, I was hooked on AccuWeather.com on the iPhone, but the iPad app up version of it I wasn't as happy with. So my, bu my buddy Bruce turned me on to WeatherBug Elite, and WeatherBug Elite is, as the name implies, it's a weather app. So it's uh, grabbing the map here, but more importantly, it's showing me, of course, my current conditions. It's even showing me cameras I can go look at around me to see what the weather's like or around the location that I choose. I get the forecast. I get all this information, of course, multiple cities. So we can uh, go ahead and tap. We can go ahead and look at a different location. It'll give us the weather for that location. Here comes the uh, radar map. You can uh, choose between different um, you can actually look at the map over time by hitting the play button. It'll show you the past progressions of weather. Uh, just very cool to be able to do this app on the iPad. And this is WeatherBug Elite for the iPad. So there you have it. My top 10 picks for the iPad opening weekend must-have apps. And again, there will be more to come. Check out bestappsite.com for more information and the links to these apps and continued reviews of both iPhone and iPad apps for your device. That's it. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.